Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Ascendant. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to do kind of a smorgasbord of different things. Um, so we'll start off by uh, showing you that I've made a third floor here in the barn, and my intent is to move the snails up here uh, because they're just a mess where I currently have them in this little... Uh, no, I guess we got to go down another level. Uh, in this little shed over here, but what they do is they just multiply like rabbits and then <laughs> It just makes a huge mess and I can't keep up with it as you can see so I'm just gonna give them free reign of the third floor um, Take a drink Take a drink there we go and uh, Yeah, because it, it's just it's a cluster in fact I, I can't hardly even go in there and move around to to get to the snails um, let's see. So I made some changes here in the, the breeding area. I took and moved everything up off the floor just because the dinos were getting caught in the fridges and the air conditioners and all that kind of stuff. So that uh, worked out really well. And what I do when I hatch a bunch of eggs all at once um, is I put walls up and enclose this area so the babies can't escape uh, because they usually get eaten. Uh, it's cruel, but it's the way it works. I have decided to completely reset my baryonyx line and do it correctly this time. Uh, well, I guess I should say semi-correctly. Uh, because when I first started breeding the baryonyxes, I wasn't... I, I was expecting scorched earth to come out uh, a lot sooner than it's going to. Um, so I, I, didn't, uh, I didn't do it the way you're supposed to do it, I guess is the best way for me to put that. I just kind of started taking mutations as they came. And I've decided to reset that since we have more time. However, um, all of the berries that we currently have, I am keeping, and I've got a bunch of them staged down there to take out to the swamp cave to level. And we're gonna we're gonna actually use them in the ice cave in particular. And um, if they do really well in there, we might even try and use them for like maybe a gamma boss or something. We'll see how it goes. Uh, so anyway, these two just had these triplets, but unfortunately they're all male. Uh, and what I'm looking for is base females because I do have this uh, mutated berry here, which has a health, stamina, and melee mutation. So once I get a bunch of base females, then I'm going to pop him back in and start breeding those mutations onto there. Now that's still not really the correct way to do it. You're supposed to just breed one mutation stack at a time, but... Um, I'm kind of compromising there, so because uh, I think that's just going to take too long. As far as the Therizinos go, I continue to breed them, and I'm currently working on uh, my first stacked uh, health mute. Uh, no, I think it's melee mutation. Uh, so I got those parents over here. Yeah. So this mother has uh, two melee mutations, and so I'm trying to get those mutations bred onto a father so she's be being uh, bred with the base father here um, and then once I have those on the father then I'll move him over and replace the the current uh, father that's in there uh, and keep stacking the the uh, melee mutations so that's what's going on with the Therizinos um, let's see we got quite a few UDs here these are all base mothers now and uh, I pulled out Big Bird here He's going to be my first boss, Yudi. Uh, he is fully imprinted, and he's pretty much leveled, too, because I had a whole bunch of old Rex eggs and uh, Euteranus eggs left over uh, that I hatched and then had him just chomp down on. Uh, so he's his base uh, health is 35, base stamina is 37. Um, so not real good, but I, I think you know we can start with that, and we'll see how, how things go. Okay, so that takes care of that. I still haven't gotten any more work done on this barn in terms of building it, but it's on the to-do list. So many things to do, it's just crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, I was doing some multiplayer last night with, with some of my friends on Discord, and I was just mentioning to them that, you know, Ark was never really designed for a single player. You can certainly do single player, obviously, but it wasn't designed for it. So when you start getting this far along especially with multiple breeding programs it's just so much work for one person to do not complaining i'm enjoying it it's a lot of fun but it just takes a long time and that's also uh, why you know uh the videos are coming out a little bit slower i'm not you know i'm working my ass off in between these episodes <laughs> but most of it's just mundane you know stuff and you know not gonna be all that exciting to show on camera 
All right, let's see. We have two uh, Megalanias that are fully imprinted. Uh, a male and a female. So we got Green Machine here. And we have Megan here. And uh, they have... Uh, they don't have any... Yeah, they don't have any mutations at all. They're just base, but they are base critters. But they, like I said, they're fully mu mutated. I did take an earlier non imprinted uh, sorry I meant imprinted non imprinted one of these into the lava cave and I managed to actually get uh, the artifact uh, but it was painful because the mega at least that mega couldn't do very much damage so I ended up having to do most of the damage manually and it took a long time uh, but they were just absolutely phenomenal for being able to climb up, you know, cross walls and, and over ceilings, you know, to get over the gaps. So looking forward to continuing to use these. Not that I'm going to be running the lava cave a lot, but we can also use them in um, the northeast cave too. The one that is a pain in the ass to get the thylo in, um, you know, because we are going to have to farm artifact. That's I think that's artifact of the devourer because um, it's my intent to run alpha megapithecus multiple times to farm element you know once we get to that point and so you know the devourer artifact is one of the ones we're going to have to get a lot all right so yeah i'm gonna i'm not gonna do move these snails on camera i'll do that off camera so what i'm gonna do is like i said i'm just gonna grab all of the current ones that are already fully mature uh, take them all the way upstairs here and Throw them down and give them free rein in this whole entire floor. I might eventually move some of the smaller dinos up here, too, because space is a challenge. Uh, I had to put the walls in here. Couldn't quite get that to fit right, but that's all right. Um, actually, well, I might be able to tweak that later. Because um, the snails will, some they can either, I don't know, squeeze, squeegee through or up or over the rails. The rails don't contain them, so that's why I have these walls and, and doors up here. So yeah, I'll move those guys off camera, um, and I think that's really all I have to get you updated on here at the main base. So the plan for, uh, the, or the next plan we're going to do, is we're going to take all of our current Baryonyx um, out to the Swamp Cave. Um, not these guys. These guys are ready for the Ice Cave, so they're just staged and waiting. Uh, they're fully leveled, fully imprinted. Uh, so we're just waiting for a few more of what I'm calling the first generation uh, berries. And we're going to be taking them into the ice cave, which we might do in the next episode. We'll just kind of see how things go. But down below, I have um, I have um, a bunch of the berries that I was breeding. Um, just kind of stage over here. So the first thing we're going to do, all of these guys here, guys and gals, most of them are gals actually. Um, we're going to take them over to the Swamp Cave um, so we can start leveling them up. These are my Generation 2, my G2 uh, berries, because they all do have um, a stamina and a melee mutation. And I even have one female, yeah, this one here, that's, that's I'm calling a G3, because she has stamina, health, and uh, melee mutations. But I don't need her anymore for breeding because I've bred those three mutations onto the male that I showed you up there. So, uh, yeah, so let me get situated. We're going to walk these guys over to the Swamp Cave. We might as well run the Swamp Cave, too. I'll just do that really quick. I won't show you the whole thing, of course. And speaking of which, here is the loot that I have gotten uh, from the Swamp Cave off camera. Yeah, so we got some really nice stuff there, man. Um, and 
So once we get that done, we're going to go out to the East Sea Base, and we're going to take our Generation 2 Shark Pack out for some leveling, and we're also going to uh, try and get ourselves an anglerfish for pearls. So that's kind of what I have planned for the rest of this episode. All right, so I will uh, meet you guys here in a little bit when uh, we're ready to st start taking those berries out to the swamp cave. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see how this goes. <laughs> we got, we got a, a train of them going here. We got an alpha raptor. That uh, once I get them all out of the gate, we can sick them on the alpha. Kind of want to get them out of the gate first, though. And I need to um I need to mark the last one too. Get wrecked. Uh don't go over the cliff, please. There we go. Ooh, that was a 120. Nice. All right, I'm going to park the bird here. I'm going to run back, close the gate. Uh, you need to die. Okay, so the G3 soldier is our last one in line. So I want you to be uh, tracked. Wait, did I do the wrong one? There we go. Okay. Okay. Off we go. Come on, we need Soldier FG31. Get over here. Here she comes. I well, I think. Yeah, there she comes. Okay. <laughs> Looking good so far. Seems like their AI is doesn't want them to path in the water for some weird reason. Especially considering they're water dinos. Well, hybrid. Oh, we'll take those. We'll take that. Uh, we'll take that. Um, yeah, I don't care about those two things. Get out of here, piranhas. Okay, what kind of a cluster do we got going on now? There's a theory. Level 10. Got to break up this uh, group over here. Somebody's caught on somebody else. It could be that I could have saved myself more time by doing two smaller trains. I don't know. So this is obviously going to be more painful than it should be. So I'll just bring you guys back when we get to the actual uh, swamp base. Unless something crazy happens between now and then. All right, guys. I finally got them all here. Uh, I ended up just doing away with the the train thing and had them all follow me it seemed to work a little bit better uh so let's see let's go into here we want to uh no not that um okay let's untrack everybody here um and i'll just track seahawk for now and so basically from clockwise starting with soldier 13 right in front of me and then clockwise around 
that's the order in which we'll level them. Doesn't these aren't these guys over here aren't in any particular order, but these last or first three here were the last batch from or the last dinos from the first batch that we did. Uh, I got a pig out here too for healing. And uh, so let's just do a quick, we'll take this one and do a quick cave run. Uh, it's melees at 691. We're trying to get that to 800. We might do that uh, in the cave. We'll see how that goes. Uh, so what we're going to do is take it, everything off except for, um, we'll take our shotgun in with us and we'll take a couple med brews. We don't need any of this stuff in there. Uh, we'll take that stuff. I want to have some of these as well. And some of this in case we get swamp fever. And I think that's all we need. Uh, I I somehow or another, and I don't know how I did it, I lost a bunch of gas masks. <laughs> I had like another, I don't know, four or five of these, and I, I can't figure out what the hell I did with them. Um, they might, they're probably sitting on a dino somewhere or something. I don't know. So anyway, let's go ahead and take this berry into the swamp cave and see if we can get its melee up to 800. And when, if we do, then we bring it back and add it to the rest of the berries that are ready to roll for the ice cave. Oh, shoot. I don't want to take this armor in there either. Um, it's very, very unlikely that we would die in there, but you never know. Okay, uh, we didn't quite make it to 800, so we'll run this this uh, girl one more time. Uh, this is the loot that I got. Nothing, I mean, it's good loot, but everything, I, I've gotten all of that stuff, uh, better of all that stuff. Yeah, I, I know, I can't talk today. <laughs> Nothing in here is better than what I've already pulled out of this cave, except for maybe this. That is a really, really good hatchet. Um, 
I have a pretty high level ascendant hatchet, but I don't think it's 495. So my goodness, yeah, that's actually is better than. Uh, but all the rest of the stuff I've I've gotten, you know, at least as good if not better. Uh, okay, so um, I'm going to cut the camera here, and I'll meet you guys. I'm going to go get situated, go to the western sea base, grab an ichthy, uh, ichthysaurus, swim it over to the eastern sea base, and then I will meet you guys when we get over to the eastern sea base, and we'll see if we can bag ourselves a uh, an anglerfish. All right, guys, we are at the eastern sea base. Um, I have pinned the base in, as you can see here, but I haven't done... Uh, well, actually, I guess I don't remember how much I had done the last time I showed you guys, but I haven't really done a whole lot with the actual buildings themselves. I've just kind of made the place functional. Uh, so I've got my second generation of sharks here, and it looks like we have a Pelagornis guest, level 50. Now nah, you're too low. Um, yeah, so underwater, this whole area here has been uh, closed in. This is the the large, you know, the larger water pin, of course, uh, for the larger dinos, and it goes all the way back up to here. You can't uh, can't get out through that direction though. And then if you swim around over to this side, this is the the breeding pin over here. And I need to actually get these uh, two bassies doing the naughty. I, was, I should have done that way or sooner, but too many things to try and remember to do. Uh, so let's get you going, and you're already... Okay. Cool. So we'll get them going. So yeah, the plan is to breed in this, you know, this smaller pin here, and then store the the larger dinos uh, on the other side. So I've got uh, this little platform set up here. I've got the Dodic and the Beaver here because I'm going to need to farm, you know, more materials uh, to keep the building. But we got our gener uh, a gener a Jenny. I was thinking generator and Jenny at the same time. Uh, set up here, and we got a forge with some metal in it. Fridge, fabricator, all the all the usual stuff. Uh, and by the way, I'm gonna grab that out of there. And let's grab these. We've got fins. I'm gonna grab the better pants because we're going to be going down deep to get the angler fish and we'll you i guess we'll use this as a, as a backup i have my mastercraft blueprint over here uh to make more of those uh okay so yeah let me just show you what i got so far i got this little bridge uh coming across here and then there's a a platform up here i'm probably going to put a roof on this and make it i don't know kind of like just a little veranda place i suppose and then this goes down to the back pin with some ramps i'm i'm gonna do a wrap around the plan is to do a wrap around platform that spirals up to the top of here and then we'll build like a little bungalow at the top of there and then on this one uh we'll do a little stair system that wraps up and we'll put a lighthouse up on the top of there so that that's the plan uh i have been requested to show some of that build on camera so we will very soon here we'll do a building episode where we'll work on this and it should be really cool i'm looking forward to it this is going to be a neat little base for us uh okay so the plan for right at the moment is to let's find out um how long it's going to take for you to do your gestation it's going to be 47 minutes okay so yeah, I'll need to plan on being back here around that time. We don't have to be back here exactly at 47 minutes, but I don't want to wait too much longer. Let me set my timer. So what I was going to do was just kind of work our way back towards the western sea base because uh, our sharks, uh, we're going to do the western sea cave again first before the the eastern, but... Now that I know I have to come back here for this baby. See, I don't think we can make it. I don't know if we can make it back to the Western Sea Base in 47 minutes and also look for an anglerfish and also level those guys. If we did, then I can just fast travel back here. But yeah, we'll have to. We're probably just going to have to stay on the East Coast here uh, for what we're going to do. 
Um, I'm going to leave since I know that for sure I'm coming back here. I need to put a, just a regular storage thing up here, but, uh, I guess what we'll do is we'll store things that we don't need to take down into the ocean with this on the beaver. Um, we don't need guns. Um, I'm going to take harpoons. <coughs> for this tame. And the reason why, and, and this is, I, I don't, this doesn't make any sense. It's, it's completely defies the laws of physics and gravity and everything else. <laughs> but Dota deck says that on a 150 angler fish, I have a 19% chance of death using my crossbow. Um, Whereas if I use my harpoon guns, which have a damage of 143%, there's zero chance of death. So how, explain to me how this is going to do more damage than this. I don't get it. <laughs> don't, don't ask me, man. That's just what Dota deck says. And so we're going to use the harpoons uh, trank darts to, uh, to get our angler fish. Cause we don't want to, I mean, a 19% chance of death. That's a high, high chance of death. Not good. Uh, we don't need to take the, this with us and, um, we'll take the pick in case we need to break something. Well, we'll take the grappling hook. We'll take these if we decide to tame something else while we're down there and I think we're good to go. We got food. I'm not taking any. I don't think we need like any chowders or anything like that. I think we're in good shape. Okay. So let's hop on our ichthy here. This is an imprinted, 100% imprinted ichthy. So it's pretty fast. Pretty pretty strong. I've been breeding them too. Uh, I'm not taking it too seriously, but alright. Let's see. You are stuff on here. Wait, what? Put them in the wrong sp spot. Oh, I need to turn the the shadows up too. Just so we can't like see 10 miles under the ocean. If I'm not if I'm just kind of traveling and not doing anything super serious, I I don't worry about that, but if we're going to go out and do actual ocean stuff, it needs to be legit. Uh, okay, so we want you to be on four, which you are, and I think everybody else is following one. It looks like they are. Uh, let's check and see. Does anybody have any new levels? Oh, all of these guys have their uh, Ascendant Megalodon saddles on too, and their health is either at or going to be at when I'm all, when it's all said and done at 15,000 instead of 10,000 like our first group of sharks. So this should, between those two things, uh, they should be substantially stronger than uh, what we went into that cave with before. Plus, we're going to have stronger Basilis, uh, Basilis, Basilosaurs. Uh, you're at 15, so now we're just doing mainly on you. So I think we're going to make a, a much better account of ourselves in that cave uh, the next time we go in, which won't be too long from now. Okay, so we just got you up to 15,000 health. Just looking to see if anybody else has the little yellow I need to level up thingy. Not noticing it. Okay. All right, here we go. Out into the mighty deep blue. Just gotta get out a little further. Uh, we need to also, why, what the hell, why can't I move? Uh, we need to tag the last shark in the chain here. So that would be soldier eight. Looks good. Okay. All right, let's go tear up the ocean. We'll get, kill ourselves some alphas, and we'll look for some anglerfish. 
There's some plessies down there. Still have not found a high enough level plessy to even consider going after one. That's a 15. That's a 15. Yeah, they're just all really wimpy levels. So we don't need to get like a, a super high level ang angler, even a low levels will do the job, but the higher the level we get, you know, the tougher it'll be and the more, um, well, you know, weight it can, it can carry. So we'll still try and find something that's respectable. Look at all the clams down here too, man. That is, in fact, we should kind of remember where that's at. It's just a little ways to the southwest of our base. Um, there's a couple of things that we need pearls for, like a lot of pearls for. Uh, one is I've got a, two or three pretty high level riot gear blueprints that just take gobs of pearls. Um, and at some point, hopefully, we're going to come across a Uteranus blueprint. And, you know, those saddles take a lot of pearls, too. So that is the plan, man. So far, just seeing sharks. Looks like my guys got stuck. No surprise there. Yeah, they're all jammed up in the coral, damn it. Okay, four just got loose. I think we're good now. There's an angler. Alright, let's see what level we got here. 20, nope. Look at that red plessy. What level is it? 25. Shred those eels, boys. Boys and girls. Here's the eastern cave. But I'm not going in there without Basilosaurus. There's an alpha meg and an angler fish too. That angler's gonna go in and get shredded, so not gonna be able to do much about it. Soldier eight killed the or no. Their alpha's not dead yet. Soldier two killed the alpha. That was a 120. Pretty high level. There's two. Uh nothing. Nothing too good. Well, except for look at the levels, my word. Okay, you're already at 15,000 health. So we already got you up to 700 melee. That's going to be a tough shark, man. Get it. Nice. Oh, we got a sea crate. Let's see what's in it. This is where I'm at. Well, I don't know if I told you guys this or not, but something happened and the map completely reset on me. So, yeah. Because I had the whole thing uncovered. Yeah, this is lame. That's some shit loot for a red deep sea crate. There should be better loot in those things. Thank goodness we have the swamp cave for the good loot. <laughs> oh! Okay, kill it. I didn't even see that thing. Damn, that was a 140 normal too. Shit. 
I mean, I'm not set up to, to tame a Tuso. But, oh well. <laughs> that would have been a good one to tame, unless it was red. I thought it was an alpha because it was red. Okay, there's an angler. What do we got? It's uh, 35. Really? What about this one? 50. Lame. Okay, we got a mow here. That's a level 10. That means he's lunch. Okay, there's an angler. It is 20. Come on, game. I'd like something that's close to 100 at least. You know, I'll take maybe 80 and a higher, we'll say. Pick these got a level. The only thing we really need on this is health. It's super fast, got good stamina. And I got a, like a really good, super good ascendant saddle on it on top of all that. Level five. Come on, game. What the hell, man? Freaking level five. Oh, there's a green one. What's that? Level 15. If you could put a zero on the end of that, that'd be great. Level 10. Ooh. Is that an alpha mo or just a momo? It's a Momo. Level 10 Momo. Okay. And there's an angler, and it is 20. Jeez. All right. Put everybody on passive so we can get a glass on this other one. Where did it go? It's right there. 20. Damn it, Jim. That is a level five. So, all right, we're all the way down at the southeast corner of the map now. And uh, I only have about 18 minutes left before uh, the Bassy is born. So I think what I'm going to do is just head back to the base. Um, if I find a an angler fish worthy of taming on the way back hold on what do we got here we've got a, a level 15 of course we do uh, I will bring you guys back otherwise what I think I'm gonna do is go back to the base take care of the bassy and then start moving the group towards the uh, across the northern part of the sea back toward the western sea base and then I'll bring you back. Oh, hold on, hold on. That red fish. What is it? A 15. Goodness sakes. Okay. And I'll bring you back when I find one that's worthy of taming or if we, you know, take on another alpha or something like that. All right, we got a shark stuck in the terrain. Oh, this is frustrating. Okay. Um... I don't know how I'm going to get him out of there. I can try and ghost in there, I guess. Okay. Then it throws me under the world and I'm dead 
And I lost all my stuff. Okay. Um, I'm spawning in gear to replace what I lost. Oh, man, what a pain in the ass. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, I just spent the last hour or so um, spawning in the stuff that I lost. So, uh, this flak armor and the shotgun and a couple of those other things I had on the beaver. So I, I, I didn't spawn those. In. I, I, but I'm taking them with me because we're not coming back here for the moment. Um, so, yeah, there's all the commands that I ran to spawn stuff back in um you can't as far as i know anyways you can't tell the command what the exact level was of the thing that you spawned in so i just got stuff as close as possible so i know that the two harpoon launchers that i had were right around 150 damage so you know if they're a little bit better than what i had before that's the game owes me anyways for wasting my fucking time uh we'll put it that way okay so we're pretty Pretty, pretty much back to where we were um, with, you know, with our, our stuff here. Um, it is getting pretty late in the day, though. It's going to be make it more difficult to see underwater. I did, uh, I did unload all the sharks, got them all leveled up and reorganized here. Uh, so what we're going to do is tell Soldier 1 to follow us and head on out. And we might, I might have to turn the shadows off if it's too dark under the water at this point. But what we're going to do is we're going to head back towards the western sea base along the north and just keep looking for an anglerfish and keep leveling our guys and gals here. There's an alpha meg. Hey, get out of here, Manta. Soldier 4. It was a level 45. Yeah, decent hatchet there. And lots of points. Got a red sea crate here. Oh, I think all sea crates are red, actually. Uh, this is where I'm at. Not really all that spectacular for a red sea crate, I gotta say. What the hell, man? All right, guys. I found a 125. So, let's see here. Put these away. Um, I'm going to tell my sharks to just go over there and stay away from us for the moment. Um, and for a 125 angler, it's going to take 18 harpoon shots to take this thing out. Okay, so my sharks are good over there. Let's do this. Okay. Got it knocked out. Um, damn, I hope I didn't damage it. Oh, 
Okay. Um, according to Dotadex, it's only going to take three kibble to tame. And it actually only takes regular kibble, but I just brought exceptional. So we'll put that on. And we're going to probably have to apply some biotoxin as well because it uh, has a pretty high torpor drop. Yeah, timing effectiveness 100% good. Okay, so I didn't hit it right before it got knocked out. All right, I'll bring you guys back when the thing uh, stands up. Uh, if fish can actually stand, that is. All right, guys, our angler fish is tamed up. Yay. Uh, so we don't need... Um, we don't need a saddle with these guys. I'll just put that in there. So we can just ride them as they are. Torpidity is going up because I gave it a, a little bit more. Um, uh, whatchamacallit? Biotoxin than I needed to. What's, uh, what's your follow distance? Looks like it's really... Close, because otherwise, because he's going berserk here. Oh yeah, uh, let's put that on four. Okay. So you follow us, and then everybody else is following you. Okay, let's test this guy out, or gal rather. Looks like we have some pearls down here. Uh, no, those aren't pearls. I'm not sure uh, what stats are good to put. Here's some pearls into these. Um, so I'll just have to um, go along with it for a while and see. Okay, so I'm going to... There aren't any Euryptids around here, are there? Okay, everybody with us? Looks like it. All right, I'm going to pick this larger one. I don't know if the size matters. And notice I got 12 pearls, okay? Now let's have him do it. 48. So basically four times... Four, four times the amount that I can pick. Pretty damn good. Pretty doggone good. Alright. Well, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here. And I'm just going to swim around on my new angler fish and get a metric butt ton of pearls and then uh, not sure what we'll do in the next episode maybe maybe we'll have a building episode and we'll work on the eastern sea base for a little bit and go from there so thanks everybody for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment and share the video and we'll catch you all in the next episode Bye bye